Okay, uh, this is Rani Ahmed with you, and uh, today we have the moon and Jupiter and uh, Sol near together. Okay, like some kind of conjuncture. So, what we see is the uh, little dot on the side of the uh, video uh, is the uh, Jupiter, okay, and the moon is the big uh, circle. Let's see. Here I'm trying to focus it. It's too hard, okay. And, and I'm putting a filter. It still does not help because I want to also uh, give uh, the uh, Jupiter a chance. Give Jupiter a chance, okay, to be seen because the filter will uh, delete it from the picture if you want to say, okay. Uh, because it will dim it. So, I'm just moving the picture a little bit. Now, let's see the moon. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm actually using a small, uh, like, a weak telescope. Okay. Because this weak telescope can let me uh, see both the moon and uh, Jupiter and Jupiter at the same time in the same field of view now what I'm trying now is just to focus the moon this is a helical focus which is too hard to focus uh, the moon with okay So, yeah, as you see, this is the moon and Jupiter today. It's the uh, 16th of uh, June 2019. Okay. Let's move to, the, to Jupiter. So I see this is Jupiter. This bright dot. Okay. So of course, with this a huge uh, amount of light, uh, you can't uh, see the uh, moons of Jupiter. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, move the camera to the to a bigger telescope so we can see it. Okay, and that's what we are going to do right now. Okay. So I'm currently moving the eyepiece from a uh, refractor telescope to a uh, reflector Newtonian telescope. Okay. Come 
Come on. So yeah, this is Jupiter. And we can see now the moons. Okay. So then change. Okay. So this is Jupiter. Now let's focus it. Now we see a number of uh, dots beside it. Okay. And see the, that bright light coming from the side, just from the moon, because it's currently a full moon. So if we just a little bit move the. Uh, see the moons of Jupiter, those little bright dots around the big planet, the giant planet, and you see if I just move a little bit, the light will increase, and this is the, the big boss, the, uh, the moon, okay, it's very sweet, okay, and this is here we're using a 25 millimeters, uh, Uh, IPs. Okay, the focal length is uh, 25 millimeters of this IPs. Okay, and the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the telescope now that's in use now, as you see the moon now, is uh, the Selsun Astromaster 130Q. Now, uh, before uh, when we started uh, the video, uh, it uh, was on a uh, six uh, centimeter uh, aperture guide scope. Okay, I don't know how much is the focal length, but I expect it was like 30, me uh, 30 centimeters long because this is how long it is. Okay, and yeah, go back, see the Jupiter. So just for you to understand how near they are now in the page of the sky. So you can see how near they are. Now, actually the uh, telescope flips the image. So So, yeah, like I said, it flips the image, so uh, upside, upside down. I did not use an image uh, erector, okay, or, or an image uh, erecting eyepiece. So, yeah, let's see where, where Jupiter is, somewhere near. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So see those little dots around uh, Jupiter? Those are the uh, moons of Jupiter. I must shut down the lights. to give a correct uh, recording okay so I shut down the lights of my veranda because I need to see you know, my surrounding of course okay
in my paramita. Okay, so so I I think you got the idea now how how near they are in the sky. Okay, so um, that's it for tonight. Okay, and um, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, see you in uh, next event, in the next event, of course. Okay, bye.